Hey guys, this is John from Walkthrough Code. So in the last video, we talked about how to just get EJS all set up and going. Uh, this we're in this uh, in this video for crying out loud. We're going to talk about um, basically how to inject a value into our uh, EJS view, and then how to uh, evaluate that particular variable in there. So it should be a really short video. Um, so let's go ahead and get started by looking at our server.js, and we're basically taking this. Uh, root route and we're going to render this index.ejs. Um, so response.render actually takes three parameters. The first one is the view, uh, which is the, or the string of the file name, which is the view. The second one is a, an object of local variables and the third is a callback. We don't need the callback, but we are going to use this local um, set of uh, this local object of, of variables. So let's go ahead and create that. Um, and we're going to create, uh, this is an object, obviously objects take key value pairs. So let's just create a simple hello. Actually, that's not going to work since we already have hello world. Let's do um, foo. And then we're gonna just going to create a simple string of bar. And so what's going to happen here is we are going to make this foo variable available inside of this EJS view. And a simple way to do this uh, is to go into our index.ejs file. And how about we just replace world with the ejs uh, little symbols of sorts. Um, and then in here, we need to put foo. And just to demonstrate, we'll go back and talk about it a little bit more uh, if we do this and then we run. I'm going to use nodemon. If you don't have nodemon, do sudo npm. Uh, sudo npm g nodemon. Um, you may not need sudo depending on your computer, but it's super useful because as soon as you make a change to a server, um, it go ahead and it goes ahead and restarts it. So I'm going to say nodemon, and so we know that's working heard on 8,000. So let's go ahead and make sure that this works. Awesome. So we see that we have this hello foo. And we know this works because we have our opening EJS tag and our closing EJS tag. This little equal sign here basically says, I am going to evaluate a variable for you. It's kind of like uh, the double curly brackets in Angular or the um, even double curly brackets in handlebars, if you have ever heard of that, which uh, is possible. Um, so you can put these in line. You can actually put them in an image tag. Like for example, if we had some image tag, we could actually just take this and put it inside of here, and this would evaluate just fine. Um, common use case for me when I'm building uh, things along these lines, I may have some sort of like uh, API call or, you know, something, or, you know, like if I have a delete call that I don't need to pass any data, I just want to delete something. I could say maybe forward slash, um, you know, foo is maybe some number of sorts and then, you know, something like that. And then it'll go ahead and just delete that for me um, easily there just by being able to pass in that, like, maybe it's an object that we're passing into like foo.id um, or something to that effect. So that can make life, you know, a ton, ton easier. Other than that, though, that's pretty much it. You can pass anything in here you want. We could pass an array in here, uh, which we'll talk more about uh, the next one. Uh, or in the next video. Other than that, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any uh, comments or suggestions, please don't let them. Uh, please leave them in the uh, comment area below. Um, please like and please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.